All right, we've got a special request from Hayden. He has requested Alex from Madagascar, but not just Alex, he wanted Alex to have his steaks. For some reason, cute little Hayden is obsessed with steak, he loves steak. Anyways, he said that had to be in the picture. So we're gonna start, but I love Madagascar, so that's great. We're gonna start with his head. It's a very odd shape, so we're just gonna start with the side here. So we're gonna go blink, blink. So it's this weird shape to it. And at the top, it has like a lump, lump, lump. Sorry, this one's gonna be an odd shaped one. And then his chin's gonna wrap around. Actually, we'll do the top part first. So it's gonna come down this side and then it's going to loop around where his mouth is. Loop, 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 and then come up. So then at the bottom, this is going to loop around and then come straight up. So that is the shape of his head. And then from all the way from here, we're gonna come down and then come back up. That's his awesome mouth and his teeth are great. So they're gonna come from here. Now you're gonna do a sharp pointy triangle all the way to the top back down and then finish it off so same thing down here it's gonna come down go down and up and then bring it back in and inside of there you can try to do a dome for a tongue so that's his tongue in there super job now for his nose right here we will do a line here and this is just gonna go like this like over to the side Bloop. But now we are going to finish off with the noses. So this is his nose. And it looks kind of like a very flattened V. So you got the flattened V mark, and then this, this is his center part. This will be colored in Sharpie and lined down. All right, so his eyes, you go like this, and you're gonna go up and then down, and then I just put a shiny in there. Do the same thing, a rainbow, a rainbow, and then put a shiny in there. And give him some awesome eyebrows. Awesome. So in Madagascar, all people that live there wear a traditional clothing, which is called a lamba. And they're very colorful. It's just a rectangle of cloth. It's quite large because it wraps around. And I went and had to look it up and looked at pictures. They wear it as like sh like jacket shawls. They wrap it around like a dress. They they wrap it in different ways, and that's their traditional clothing there. Okay, so now we're gonna do this ear. So it's gonna come out and then down, and then his ear in there goes up and then back down. And for those that don't know where Madagascar is, so this is from the movie called Madagascar, but if you guys remember the movie, so this is gonna come up, follow, and then down. They get on a crate, and the crate takes them. They ended up thinking that they were like in San Diego Zoo or something. No, they went to Madagascar. And um, I have to say, I don't know, they're all the characters are awesome, but the giraffe cracks me up. He's so paranoid. Okay. So now we are going to do his awesome mane. So we'll start with the top part. So I'm not gonna put in the little bloop, 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 bloop. We're just gonna put in the basic shape first and then when you Sharpie in, that's when you can do it. So we're just putting in the basic shape for now. And then when you Sharpie, I'll have you put it in. And then down here, it actually goes up like this. And then we're gonna have a shoulder in there, right here. So when you end up with the Sharpie, you can come in here and then go bloop, 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 bloop. So this is kind of representing his mane. Do you see how I did that? Yeah, that's what you're gonna do with your Sharpie. All right. And then coming out of here with your thin Sharpie, or you can do colored pencils, you're gonna put in all these little fun extra lines and then you can put some on the side here so it just looks like it's just exploding. All this, his mane is exploding out of his hair. And then you wanna put some extra little hairs here. That is amazing. All right, 
but what else do I know? Um, oh, where is Madagascar? It's actually, so if you find the continent of Africa, it's in the bottom right. It's just hanging off the side. It's an island. Which something I learned about is, um, actually we're going to do a shape of his body. There. This is before you put the arms in. This is his awesome shape. I like how flowy it is. And he's got his little feet coming off the back end. It is the largest island in the world, Madagascar. It's an island, but it is huge, ginormous. And put the bottom of his foot in there. So that's like his, his little slope going on there. And he's got his foot. So from right here, just jump over and then continue that foot on the other side. Uh, let's see. There's his other foot and his tail's awesome because it comes right off his, I call it a patushka. Then you go bloop, bloop, make it come out and then you're gonna parallel. You can make the tail crooked or any shape you want. And then off the back end, it just has hair here. And you'll end up sharpening that in. He has his little flinging of hair. Good job. What else? Oh, Madagascar is known as the Red Island. You're like, that's interesting, why? Because due to its unique color of soil, that's red. There you go, which has lots of like wonderful minerals and things in it that's unique to there. And they use it for trade and medicine and all that stuff. So we're putting his front arm in. So you're just going to erase right here. And then his paws, so what they're doing is they're going like this. You have the first paw, so it just looks like one piece. Then we're gonna do this part. And then we have another, and one more back there. So we're gonna do this side. It's coming off right where this comes together. And then we go up and over. And this one's gonna come out. So we're not gonna see the other half of it, like his little thumb right there, but we do have his fingers that are coming out the top. And of course, we can't forget the stakes. Um, we do know that um, Madagascar has rare species of animals. It's very unique, plants, animals. It, it, it's an amazing island. Someday I'd like to go there. That'd be awesome. And they've got, it's where the lemurs come from. I also found out they've got a thorny pins, which I tried to find out what those were. No idea. Um, bright colored chameleons. The place is colorful. With their colorful lambas, they've got, it's one colorful place and their colorful soil. It's just bursting with color. All right, so we're gonna do its little stakes in here. It actually looks like how I would draw, kind of like a skull. <laughs> That's how I would draw a skull. But now you're going to outline it parallel around the outside. This is that white part of the, oh, I think this is a big old, I don't know what that's called, ribeye, ribeye steak. And then now we're gonna make it look three-dimensional. Bloop. And inside here, you're gonna make a soft triangle and then another soft triangle. So same thing over here. And then we'll go around the outside. And one more right here. And let's get this. I made this one an upside down triangle. There you go. And he's sitting on looks like a, oh, it's because he was in um, the zoo and he used to like to perform. He was a showman, yep. Everybody loved Alex. And then you're gonna make a zigzag. So you're gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, super job. All right, so let's Sharpie. I used, for the whole thing, I used the ultra fine Sharpie and then I went around the outside with just the fine Sharpie. So there you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my thick Sharpie and now I'm gonna go around the outside of it all.
Okay, so now you want to take your handy dandy eraser and erase. All right, here is the colors I used. So we're gonna start with yellow. So we have yellow in the eels. And then right here, we're gonna make a yellow mark right here. And that's gonna be yellow, so we can color all of this yellow. What else do I know? Um, I think I might have told you everything. Everything I know about Madagascar. And then his tummy is gonna have come down like this. So you're gonna color all of this in yellow. And then his bottom of his feet are yellow. Anything else? Mm, a little bit on the paws, I'm seeing. the light. We're going to start with the light brown. So now you want to color in the face light brown. I'm not doing it too hard because then I can do it harder when I want to get more darks and lights, but at least I'm getting it colored in. So now you can come in here and you can press down harder. Um, I'm going to go around the edge here. darker right here and then it gets lighter as it goes down I'm gonna actually put some regular brown in it too because it looks like it's it's neat in that for sure for sure and if I do some on the side of the ears and I'm lightly going so I'm gonna go around this so we know where it is and I'm going to actually color him all the way in and then I'll come in with my regular brown and I will get some of the darks and lights in there. So just color the whole thing in brown, just medium. I guess not so hard. You know what, I'm coloring a little too hard. So you just wanna do this lightly. Light, light, light. top of this with the tan to warm it up because it's it needs some warming. This of course can be darker because this is his back foot, back leg. And right by his tail. So come in with the tan. Now I'm going to go over it another direction to warm it up. And then I'm going to come along where the Sharpie is harder. Let's see, what else can we do? Maybe I'll put some warmth inside his face too. Oh, I didn't even do his ears. Well, I'm gonna do that with dark brown. his body. Let's come in another direction. And I'm going to come underneath here. So now you can come in with, oh, actually, you know what? I am going to color the whole mane in with tan and then I'll bring in darker. So first gonna just color the whole thing in tan and then we'll give it some detail. Okay, 
So now kind of go in harder. Let's give it some hairs coming out. When I color too much, my arm, whoo, it's getting tired. Sometimes my art students are like, oh, Miss B, my arm hurts. So I tell them, shake it off, take a break, come back to it. Okay, so I am taking, you know what, I'm just gonna, I forgot to sharpie inside its mouth. This is black in here. And then now, get the pink, color his tongue in. Got that over with. Bum, ba, da, bum. Okay, so let's work on his mane. So we're gonna use regular brown. Let's see. Mm, we're gonna do layers. Let's do light brown first. Get some more. So the mane kind of was a kind of crucial but it was a pain in the batushka because I did lots and lots of layers so I went lighter then I kept going darker and darker and darker and I think I even put some black in there just to make the mane stand out more So now I want you to get the regular brown. This is where we're gonna go even harder in here. Do you see I'm just making it really hard? Also in here, make his ears dark. This is the regular brown, but I'm pressing down hard to make it dark. I think I even put some black in there. Yes, I'll need. And now you can come and make some lines coming out. Oops, don't go into the hairline like that. That's I mean into his face. My bad. Go back and fix that. So put extra dark on his nose. Yeah. So I just push down right around the edge, make it dark, and then you want to just make some lines coming out. Okay, also, I'm gonna come in there with some black. Just very along the edge here and make some more hairs. If you can get that mane looking good, that is awesome because that mane, it is hard. It does not wanna cooperate. Also, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, you can put, get the light brown, let's make a little shadow under here. And then I made it 
darker right here. So it's just regular brown. The shadow in there, and we're just same thing down here. I guess on your the tummy tum, we can just take tan and give it a little something right here. Super job. I'm gonna go around the outside just to. Wow, I'm just getting sloppy with this. Oh my. All right, this is gonna bother me. I'm getting black on the ears, just on the tips of those ears. All right, so I think you can do the rest. Um, red stakes, white around the outside, and this is just gray and red. And then if you want to do the background, I just did green little bushes, because he's in the zoo, and a blue background. So peace out, people.